An aggressive wolf hybrid escaped from its kennel, attacked a German Shepherd, and scaled both an 8-foot and 6-foot fence before it was tranquilized in a neighbor's yard near Lacey, Washington. The owner was able to lure it with raw meat, but the animal ripped the door off a portable kennel and chewed its way through the plastic sides. Fortunately, a fish and wildlife agent arrived and shot the animal with a tranquilizer gun. How does Canada in early fall sound? Like heaven if you're a duck hunter. That's where Grandview Outdoors' Hillary Dyer has been hiding out. Here's a little sampling of the action north of the border. Kill him. Dogs, action, dinner, sunset, sunrise. Hillary, I am jealous. To see more from Hillary's Canadian adventure, visit grandviewoutdoors.com slash duck dash hunting. New Archery Products is happy to announce the expansion of the Kill Zone product line. The popular rear deploying two blade broadhead incorporates new technology, which allows both blades to open and work together in unison. NAP uses their patented spring clip design to keep the blades closed in your quiver and flight. The Kill Zone also has NAP's diamized blade technology, making it one of the sharpest blades in the industry. In addition to the current Kill Zone broadheads, hunters can now get the low key Kill Zone 100 grain, the crossbow Kill Zone, and the Kill Zone Max. Visit newarchery.com for more details. Michigan lawmakers are moving to create a state fund to sell the general public on the benefits of hunting. If approved, the Michigan Wildlife Management Public Education Fund would be funded by higher hunting and fishing fees recently signed into law. A council formed under the bill would spend money promoting the role sportsmen play in furthering wildlife conservation and the importance of hunting and fishing to the state's economy and cultural heritage. The fund would receive approximately $1.6 million a year from an already approved dollar surcharge on new base hunting and fishing licenses. In case you missed it, one of America's largest pork producers is about to speak Chinese. So instead of grabbing a Smithfield pork loin at the grocery store, fire up the grill for some tasty wild hog brats. What we've done here is we've made a 50 pound batch and I use a few things. You need some specialized tools, especially a grinder. If you have a grinder, you've got most of what you need. All we do is we take the meat, we cut it up into chunks, and we add pork fat to it and grind it. Uh, the seasoning I use is made by AC Leg. I've used this seasoning now for several years and it's delicious, so it's, it's my go-to. I found that my 21 pounds of wild hog to four pounds of pork fat from the store is ideal. It gives it plenty of moisture and good flavor, uh, and I'm cutting down on the fat. Once you get that ground, you put it into your mixer, and that's where I add my seasoning. Um, I always blend my seasoning into water. That helps it get through the meat and permeate everything. Then it's time to go back in the grinder. You do it on a finer plate this time. This will be your last grind, and if you're gonna stuff it straight from the grinder, this is where you go ahead and get your casings on. It's Seriously, who needs grocery stores? Those look good. Have some Halloween fun with Bass Pro Shop's great pumpkin event with the classic Peanuts characters, Charlie Brown, Snoopy, Linus, Sally, and Lucy. The free event will feature activities including fun crafts for kids, a Halloween costume parade, trick-or-treating, and much more at 55 Bass Pro Shop locations in the U.S. and Canada. The event runs October 19th through the 31st. Questions? Visit BassPro.com slash Halloween. Well, that's all for this week, gang. Questions, comments, love letters? Drop me a line. In the meantime, hybrid wolves probably don't make the best pets. So stay safe and uh, happy hunting. <laughs>